Thank you. I can get really fucking pissed off at the fucking hipsters standing in front of the anthology film archives, but then I get distracted by that beautiful fucking moon and I'm happy and I smile and I find myself for a moment not even caring that those smarmy fucking hipsters exist. Then I can walk on a little more and be pissed off about how much weight I've gained lately, but then there's that moon again peeking through a leafless tree and it's almost like I can't be pissed off about anything. It is awesome that the moon is an antidote to both feeling like a fat piece of shit and also an antidote to wanting to stab hipsters in their smarmy fucking faces. It's a fucking miracle. I kind of want to fuck under that moon. If you're more hardcore than I am, and you probably are, you should find somebody who has roof access in their building and who would also like to fuck you and you should get on that roof and fuck that person tonight after the reading of course <laughs> I've only fucked on a roof once and to give you an idea of how long ago that was we could hear the plasmatics rehearsing across the street and I was really fucking drunk that night so I don't remember what the moon was like but it couldn't possibly have been as great as the moon is tonight have you seen the moon well it's not out yet but tonight's moon is to totally fuck somebody on a roof don't worry about how fat you are and let the hipsters live for one more day kind of moon, a fucking miracle moon. I wrote this next one uh, yesterday. It's called A New Plan. I acknowledge that we are, generally speaking, less gullible than they are and that that is a weakness. But can't we be brazen and brash and intellectually dishonest without being stupid about it? Here's a new plan. How about a website, TrueStream News or TrulyNews.com, I checked this morning, they're both available, that is dedicated to reporting the untold stories about Trump that the lamestream media won't. Stories like Trump felches dogs. We tweet it out, we retweet it, and then we send spokespeople out to MSNBC or CNN or whoever will have us, and we say it's been reported that Trump felches dogs. Uh, you could look up the word felch if you don't know. <laughs> and we can have an expert graphically describing how he might do that and maybe some artist rendering and then follow it up with a poll showing that 30% of Americans believe that Trump felches dogs and then a story about how animal rights groups are demanding that Trump stop felching dogs and then when the story gets tired we put out another one, Trump eats pig cocks. And we start the cycle over again with the spokespeople and the polls and the animal rights group demanding that Trump stop eating pig Hitchcocks. The only real problem with this are the defamation laws. Trump is a public figure, so he'd have to prove that the stories were published by someone who knew they were false or who acted with reckless disregard for the truth. So I guess there's another step involved. Unnamed sources would have to tell a reporter that Trump felches dogs and he pick, eats big cocks. Then the reporter would probably have defense. I think that would work, but I may have to do a bit more research about this. So until then, Ixne on the Umtre Elches Fay Ogs Day. I have one more. This one, this one is called, uh, I'm going to do an intro. It's only two seconds. I was on a train and uh, there was an ad for breast augmentation surgery and I, I wanted to write this in the five like Manhattan stops on the one before I had to get off the train. It's called tits. I kind of think it might be nice to have tits. So like, so then if I'm, in, if I'm in bed with a woman, we could suck each other's tits. That sounds kind of nice. I think that would be hot, but it's a slippery slope. I would think next I'd probably want long hair and makeup. Then I'd probably want most of my body hair removed. And then before you know it, I'd want a vagina. And I assume that would mean I wouldn't have a cock anymore. And that would mean that instead of fucking women in the vagina with my cock, I'd be getting fucked in my vagina with a strap on because I like women. And even if I had a vagina, I would still want to be fucked by women, not men, which maybe is close-minded of me, but there it is. So probably I shouldn't get tits. So probably I should stop eating so fucking much, else I'm going to get tits. I think that was <laughs>